Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel, and we have some late breaking news. Yes, uh, late in the evening in some places, very early in the morning here in, where I live. From Representative Jim Jordan, bombshell report on the censorship industrial complex. Hundreds of secret reports show how the Department of Homeland Security and CISA Gov, the GEC, State Department, Stanford, and others work together to censor Americans before the 2020 election, including true information, jokes, and opinions. So this is going to be a culmination of a lot of the things that we have talked about here on the Buzz Weaver channel, collecting all this information from the media, as we do, and explaining these things to people so that they understand. And we have been covering this for quite some time. And now we have this consolidation all in one place here from Representative Jim Jordan. The federal government disinformation experts at universities, big tech, and others worked together through the Election Integrity Partnership to monitor and censor American speech. And I would say it went further than that because a lot of platforms have been doing a lot of things to particular users, especially on YouTube. A lot of us get shadow banned. We get demonetized. Our, our information or our videos aren't found in searches. So... All this stuff goes on in the background sometimes, and you don't even realize that you're being shadow banned. For example, if you're on Instagram or on Facebook or other platforms, you're going about your happy little self, posting your little, you know, your whatever it is you're posting, your images, uh, what you had for breakfast, or some 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 point of interest that you have, and you think uh, that it's out there and everybody can see it, and in reality, they're just kind of monitoring everything that's going on now of course it's more indicative to someone like myself for example that covers politics and uh current events and things you know sometimes we'll go about doing what we think we're doing because as a matter of fact uh, just recently i got contacted by a subscriber who said oh i didn't realize you were still doing videos that's right because youtube will unsubscribe you from people so we we press on so according to one EIP member, the EIP was created at the request of the CISA. Now these are all agencies within government. The head of the EIP also said that EIP was created after working on some monitoring ideas with CISA. And of course, here's just some examples that he's going to give. And I'm going to give you, I am going to post this link down below the uh, in this video so you guys can check this out for yourself and read it and go through it. But it is extraordinary the amount of information that he is releasing just in this short little uh, this short little thread. Here's how it worked. The EIP stakeholders, including the federal government, would submit misinformation reports. So they willfully and intentionally released this information. EIP would analyze the report and find similar content across platforms. EIP would submit the report to big tech, often with a recommendation on how to censor. Let me say that again, often with a recommendation on how to censor. Judiciary GOP and weaponization obtained these non-public documents and information from Stanford only after the threat of contempt. You can read the full details, and I'll, you know, again, when I give you the link, you can go through these and look at these. Absolutely, it's absolutely phenomenal. Who was targeted? Americans of all political stripes, but especially conservatives. All that time, oh my goodness, what, seven, seven something years or more? Maybe 17 years was the argument. Going all the way back to a Gizmodo article on Facebook about how conservatives, uh, Republicans, and or middle-of-the-road types were being actively censored or targeted. This is going back like, yeah, like I think it's like almost 16 years. I'd have to find the article, but it's a long time. But obviously, real Donald Trump. Sean Tom Tillis, Newt Gingrich, Governor, Governor Mike Huckabee, MTGs, uh, Sean Hannity, MZ Hemingway, and of course the list is pretty extensive, so uh, you can check it out. But then, but it didn't stop here, or it didn't stop there, says Jim Jordan. Here are some more accounts. Of course, you have Newsmax, Michelle Malcolm, Sean Davis, uh, Ruben Report, Paul Spray, Tracy Benz. As you guys are being, you can see this here. What speech was targeted for censorship? True information, jokes, and political opinions. And here's one. From real Donald Trump, Georgia counties using same software as Michigan counties also encountered glitch. And he goes on to uh, list a Breitbart article. What a total mess this election has been. Now, this is not to necessarily cite an example of uh, what happened in 2020, but it just gives you an illustration as to some of the things that were 
um, censored specifically by government. And you see here, thank you for this historic victory, North Carolina. Look forward to six more years of fighting for you and your family to the U.S. Senate. So these were some of the things that were either being leaked intentionally or censored. And then you here have Mike Huckabee. So who did we miss? Did you have a social media post that was targeted by the EIP? I don't know if I had any. I mean, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, because the way shadow banning works, you don't really ever really know who is actually seeing your, your material or not. And the same thing happens with YouTube. You think you've posted a video and people can see it, and in reality, no one's seeing it. It didn't go out to any of your subscribers. It didn't even go out to people who are, uh, in, who, you know, obviously are set for notification. Sometimes it didn't even go to them. So it's clear why Stanford tried only. Uh, okay, so it's clear why Stanford tried only produce this after judiciary GOP and weaponization threatened contempt. So this goes into uh, how they, you know, obviously they were kind of uh, had to come out with the information, right? The American people deserve to know if they were targeted by their own government and so-called disinformation experts. It's absolutely phenomenal as we near the end of this. But you guys may remember we covered this here on the Buzzweaver channel uh, last year. Right here, the Department of Homeland Security, you know, is quietly broadening its efforts to curb speech it considers dangerous. An investigation by The Intercept has found years of internal DHS memos, emails, and documents obtained via leaks and ongoing lawsuits, as well as public documents, illustrate an expansive effort by the agency to influence tech platforms. I can only imagine, ladies and gentlemen... What is going to happen when Donald Trump, if Donald Trump becomes president of the United States? I can almost see the expose or the exposure of all this nonsense. I don't even know if it'll go that far. I mean, it could disrupt the entire country if Donald Trump were to declassify and reveal all of this that's going on. It would absolutely be extraordinarily detrimental. But let me give you an example. Here is a Senate hearing or a committee hearing on Capitol Hill. With Vijaya Gotti, my good friend Vijaya Gotti, who was head of security and law at uh, Twitter. So here we go. Where did you go to medical school? I did not go to medical school. I'm sorry? I did not go to medical school. That's what I thought. Why do you think you or anyone else at Twitter had the medical expertise to censor a doctor's expert opinion? Our policies regarding COVID were designed to protect individuals. We were seeing you guys censored Harvard educated doctors, Stanford educated doctors, doctors that are educated in the best places in the world. And you silenced those voices. Did the U.S. government ever contact you or anyone at Twitter to pressure Twitter to moderate or censor certain tweets? Yes or no? We received legal demands to remove content from the platform from the U.S. government and governments all around the world. Thank God for Matt. Yes, indeed. She did receive that information. And not only that, we also have the Twitter files, which we have covered here on the channel as well. Absolutely bombshell information here, ladies and gentlemen, as we have said here on the BuzzWeaver channel, because we take the difficult, we take the complicated, we take the tumult, we take the confusion, we take the chaos, and we break it down as simply as Jim Jordan has done right here. And now the thing is, and I ask this of everyone, and I say this all the time across all social media, it's all going to be a matter of who is paying attention come 2024. Because the Democrats, the establishment, all of these individuals, although we're seeing a lot of positiveness right now for Donald Trump, even when he's going back to court, as he did today or yesterday, depending on the time frame of this video as it's being released, well, we're seeing that his approval continues to go up despite the continued political persecution of him, which is happening to him. And so we are at a boiling point right now in our country and as things continue the way they are going even the protesters for palestine or hamas if you want to uh, just break it down into uh its uh, lowest common denominator are actually going after joe biden so blinken goes all the way to israel as well as iran for obvious reasons to save face because they know that they're going to get a lot of heat from people because the united states rightly so is supporting israel it's really an interesting battle, especially also with Rashida Tlaib, who's catching a lot of heat and embarrassing her party for some of the things that she said. But 
This is extraordinary, guys. This is absolutely groundbreaking stuff that's happening. And I would love to give your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. All right, there's the timer. I would love to get your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. All this time here on the Buzzweaver channel, I want to thank you guys for helping and supporting the channel. Because it wasn't until recently that many of us as creators actually started getting subscribers again. A lot of us were not even reaching peaks within our subscriber base. We weren't even going into the positive. And then suddenly, like a switch went off, and then all of a sudden, all of us are now getting subscribers again. It's absolutely amazing. But these are the things that I've been talking about for quite some time. And you guys have been fantastic. You've hung around. You've stayed here. You've helped me out, excuse me, across all social media, new tech and here on YouTube. And you guys have just been phenomenal. Thank you so very much. And that's what I have for you guys today. And appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon here for the Buzzweaver channel. You guys can click on that to subscribe as well as to select notifications. Hopefully you'll be notified that I am still here for those of you who don't know. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.